Are we all in? I think so. Snuggle up, <laughs> snuggle up. <laughs> snuggle in. <laughs> there you go, that'll do it. Oh, magic. Oh, I it. That's... Well, good morning. We're coming to Chester and uh, we're parking in the uh, car park that I always forget the name of. What's this car park called? Rudy. Oh, Rudy. Yeah, it's your Rudy. Rudy. And you can stay overnight, so it's just saying over here, uh, for £1.50. But um, we've got a ticket and we're parked along the river here. River D is just over my shoulder. And through here is a cafe on the car park. I say, motorhomes are welcome overnight. Uh, there's nowhere to get water, I don't think, or empty your uh, chemical waste, so it, it's not really an air, but uh, it's a great car park. Well done, Chester City Council. We came here four years ago, didn't we, Sue, with um, Little Ethel, and uh, we didn't bring Bertie, our um, coach build at the time, but uh, this is an ideal spot. I'll show you a little bit about the car park, and then we're going to walk down to the castle along the river. So Smurf is just here, and the car park, as you can see, Still a fair bit of room and uh, the entrance to the car park is down that end and we're parked by the trees and there's several other units along here so we're not on our own. So it's just coming through and we're walking along the little footpath along the River Dee which should take us down to the castle and then we can cross the road and get into the city. Well, we're alongside the city wall here and the castle's just behind those trees. So we're looking for a way up and we think there's a, a way up onto the wall where those people are walking just along here. Right, we're going up on the city wall now. Let me ask her. Steps are a bit uneven, so I have to concentrate a little bit. There's the River Dee again, and a sluice. There's a heron just down there, right on the edge of the water. This is part of the amphitheatre. Uh, oh no, it says bathing. This is part of the baths. The, uh, along the wall here. Children who have got centurion soldiers and uh, they're chanting down the street. Obviously learning a bit of history today. Top of a wolf gate, is it? And Newgate and Peppergate. The origins of its name are a mystery. All we know is that it is derived from a personal name with possible Scandinavian no. associations. View of more of the city from up here and the amphitheatre, which was what I was looking for just now. Um, What's left of it is down there. Oh, I found the clock. 
Uh, I can hear some music of some sort. <laughs> Beautiful Chester. <laughs> And across the other side as well. Some cracking buildings. A few Liverpool fans. <laughs> So he's got a red and white one, and some more lovely buildings up here. I do chuckle when I see the Chestnut Grosvenor Hotel with all its splendour and the little shop next door is a pawnbroker right next to the clock So we're back along the wall here at Chester on the city wall and here's a tower. King Charles built 1645 and there's a little bit of information about it. We've got the canal alongside the wall here. Bridge.
And now we've found ourselves right behind Chester Racecourse. Lots of buildings going, getting busy. It looks like they're ready for a meeting this weekend. Sue found that pickup truck quite amusing. Looks like he's got a heavy load on the back. And we're back to the Rue D car park. Where we parked Smurf. <laughs> 